Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're here, then you're ready for that Potomac reunion. The reunion is happening tomorrow, but I wanted to give it some pre-thoughts to the reunion, guys. I wanted to give my pre-thoughts on what I think should be discussed at the reunion now. Do I know if that's going to be discussed? No, okay. We get ready to jump straight into it. Like the video, thumbs up the video, and consider subscribing. If you enjoy this kind of content, I'm bringing it to you on a daily now let's get straight into it we're gonna talk about every girl this season and what i'm expecting them to get into at the reunion now first up we had ashley what do i want to discuss about ashley this reunion well in all honesty i wanted her to talk about um why she was telling everybody business um is you know what i'm saying is the divorce really over and what's the rumor about her not getting no money now i also want them to bring up um supposedly the colorism alle allegations between her and candace as well now will that happen i don't know but i'm just telling y'all my pre-thoughts and i think that should be some of the focal points on ashley you look good ashley but we got questions so who next Karen, I think we should definitely bring up um, how does she know the tea on Robin? What else do I really want to know about Karen this season? What's the beef with you and Sharice? Because if you and Sharice was beefing over the funeral, her coming to the funeral, why did you invite her? You see what I'm saying? Like, I really want to know what's the real issue. So hopefully that comes up. But other than that, I don't really have much to ask about Karen because basically that was her storyline, the Sharice situation, and then. Her knowing Robin T. Other than that, she was just funny all season. That's all I got for you, Karen. Uh-huh. That's all I got for you right now. Candace. Now, for Candace, of course, I want them to talk about her husband with the Giselle allegations. But hopefully, they also um bring up her thoughts on the women this season. Like um Ashley's friend, Ashley herself, and Giselle. All trying to low-key take her man down. Mia has something to say about it. So I think that's going to be her focal point. And I would like to hear her thoughts. Yes, she has gone to Twitter. But now we can hear her vocal apparatus. And we can see what she's really going to bring to the party. Yes, I think they're going to jump into it. And yes, I think it's going to be her highlight of the reunion. I'll be shocked if anything else is her highlight. Wendy. What do I think Wendy focus point was going to Definitely the fight between her and Mia. Uh, if they bring up the colorism allegations, but definitely the fight between her and Mia. I don't really know what it could be outside of that. No shade to Wendy, but besides Mia and kind of the situation with her and Robin, which I don't even know how that's the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really sure what they could discuss with Wendy besides that Mia situation and um, possible colorism on cast. So I do want to see those focal points on Miss Wendy. Giselle, girl, what we want to know is why you want everybody business without spilling your own. I want to know, of course, they're going to hit her with the Chris allegations. But me personally, what do I want to know about Giselle this reunion? Girl, why you ain't hold Robin accountable? Why you let Robin get past all season long airing out everybody's husband when her husband had a, a lot going on himself? How come you can air out these other ladies, but you can't hold a mirror on your homegirl? If it's really boiling down to a check, I mean, I feel like she would throw her homegirl under the table. But because they had other people to attack and target, they didn't. But let the boiling pot get down to Giselle and Robin. Ugh. Giselle gonna throw Robin right under that bus, and I want them to bring it up. Why was you holding her secrets, but no one else's? That's my homegirl. That's gonna be the answer, child. Hopefully, um, Andy grills her. But we know she's Andy's favorite, so y'all can hold y'all breath for that one. Mia, 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 Mia. Yes, I hope they go into Mia versus Wendy. Like, what really went down? Did y'all link? Y'all still beefing? Obviously, but let's see. They're going to talk about her money allegations. Um, of course, they're going to talk about the health. Mia had a lot going on this season, no lie. I would be surprised if she doesn't carry this first part of the reunion because if Andy doesn't get to her first or whatever I definitely think whatever part he gets to her on that's going to carry a bulk part of the um 
reunion because it was a bulk part of the um, show this season. So we'll see what Mia brings to the table. Me personally, I want to know if they're going to find out about the Peter allegations because that was a big thing. Of course, her versus Wendy and stuff like that. But we'll see what's going on. And supposedly Giselle has been bucking up with her as well. Child, that ain't your friend, girl. That ain't your friend. But we'll see what they bring up. All right. So, of course, Robin. I'm hoping that they discuss the um, Juan situation. I hope they discuss the blonde in Georgetown. Her beef with not only Karen, Wendy. Um, and why does she think she was better than? You know, like she felt like she could keep this off screen. Now, I understand the copping situation with her husband. Because who wants to admit, you know, that? But the blonde in Georgetown... Robin, 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 what's tea, sis? They better bring it up. I feel as though if they don't bring it up, then it's some favoritism. Now, World on the Curb is Andy didn't bring it up. And he's going to do like a separate 30-minute interview with Robin asking her the real questions. But I'm like, Andy, if you, Andy, if you knew, well, maybe he didn't know all this. And now it's out in the blogs or whatever. He want to get his piece of the pie as well. Uh, so they added on a whole separate part for Robin onto the reunion. Mm-hmm. I'm not impressed. And um, what, what would I personally want them to tap on the things I said earlier? Because I'm not impressed where she literally danced in America's face. Child, and got away with it. Mm-hmm. She ain't let her go. I heard she's not fired and she's still on cast. Mm-hmm. Who else can get away with that? Because when Kenya Moore tried it, mm -hmm, they let her go real quick. Child, they had her off a whole season. Was it a season and a half? I don't know, y'all. But some of us get a pass while some of us got a kick in the ass. Y'all know what I mean. But let's see who next. All right, Sharice, of course, is going to be her and Karen. That was her all season. What am I looking forward to hear from Sharice? Well, supposedly she has more tea. Um, and that's about it. And maybe her thoughts on the cast now that she's not on it. And since this was like her comeback season, what did she think of the cast? That's about it. I'm not really, you know, looking for too much for Sharice. Because she didn't bring that that much to the show besides arguing with Karen. Lastly, we have Jacqueline. And I know she's going to bring receipts on Mia not being a boss and stuff like that. Um, what would I want to ask her? Well, you know, the question I would want to ask her is how does it feel to, you know, <laughs> see yourself in this light of, you know, how you were acting up on the show and things like that? I would love for Andy to ask her now, watching the show back, how did you feel about your time on there? I would like for him to ask her that. But I know she's going to bring up the Mia situation and everything like that. So we're going to check that out too. It's Andy Cohen. I'm here with the Real Housewives of Potomac warming up for the big reunion, even though it's cold as <laughs> in here. Uh, you ladies occasionally love to party late into the night after the cameras have gone down. I'm curious, who would fans be surprised to hear gets the most turned up on those nights out? Karen. Oh, yes. Really? That's the answer. No way. I, that's you. Really? Yes, yes. I do. What's I, your drink of choice? Well, it's changed. It I, was I, milk on that one trip. <laughs> okay. so that was the whole I like, I yeah. like the I Corona think... in the day, but I like the old fashioned at night, the smoke mm. old fashioned. Yeah. I love an old fashioned. I love an old wow. fashioned. Wow. She was okay. taking shots of tequila that night. Oh, really? We were doing anything. Um, for Mia, oh, Ashley. For Mia, Ashley, Candace, and Wendy, if you could only buy tickets. To one live show again. Mm. Are you going to Reasonably Shady? Or are you going to the spectacle of the Grand Dame? <laughs> Ashley. Um, I'm going to have to say Reasonably Shady. Okay. Because you were a featured player. Because that was player. part of the show. Uh, <laughs> the Grand Dame. Because you get multiple acts in one. Okay. Yes, Mia? I, I'm a fan. Oh, sorry. Uh, not me. Okay. Go ahead. Mia? I'm staying home. You're staying home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's abstaining. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Kim. Yeah. I'm pushed to the variety show. Okay. I'll be at the Grand Dames Fair. Um, okay. Yeah. Ashley, uh, now that you're back on the dating scene, which of these housewives do you think would make the best wing woman? Y'all notice he skipped Robin? 
Del Bryant. Oh. Really? Without Why? What is her What is her work like <laughs> as a working woman? Well, I'll tell her like that I think someone is cute, and she will help me develop a plan to get noticed by that person. Yeah. Oh, this happened cool. a couple times. Yeah. Well, very good. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, all right, we're gonna leave it there. I'm excited. Well, y'all, that was just a little clip I found. But y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think. What are y'all expecting or looking forward to from tomorrow's Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion Part 1? I will be covering it. Stay locked to the channel. Um, and remember, do the best you can with what you got. We're going to see what Andy going to ask. But do I think his top discussions will be the colorism and Juan? I definitely think Juan is going to be in there. But I don't think Andy may be comfortable with the other topic. But he may surprise us. So we'll see. But remember, stay locked to the channel. And I will keep you up to date on all the Potomac tea. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you in the next video.